Hello everyone. Welcome to the Linux video series. <clears throat> Today we are going to discuss the topic about the LVM. As you have seen into the previous videos, the concept of the LVM, what is logical volume manager and how what are its components? Its components just like physical volumes, volume groups, logical volumes and how to manipulate them. In this scenario, we will see in this video we will see how to create and mount our logical volumes to get get an idea about this we have a scenario which will give us a task which will allow us to create the logical volume in the previous videos we have seen what is the concept of logical volume manager and how it works here we will actually create our logical volume beginning from the starting from the PVV, PV and till LV that is our logical volume so to getting this task or to implementing this we need a task that will be given us by this scenario so what this scenario states we have to see first so let me read up this scenario for the above mentioned new project there is a need to keep large data files on server so one project is there and for the project we need to keep a large data files on the server it means that we need a storage you need to create separate mount point named sales underscore slash sales underscore data for this purpose it's saying that with the central point or the mount point where we will put all the data is slash sales slash sales underscore data create a logical volume sorry create a volume group and a logical volume for this purpose from the remaining free space of the disks so whatever the disk free space is there by utilizing that free space we have to create one volume group and one logical volume so next is the size of physical extent of the volume group must be 8 MB that physical extent size as we have seen into the LVM uh, video that is what is a physical extent it is just a chunks it is small chunks of the volume group so how much size we have to mention for the physical extent so that will be 8 MB size the logical volume should be should have 50 extent mean the logical volume by this VG that volume group we have to create will be having 50 extent size this mount point should get automatically mounted at the boot time means whenever system boots up it has to be automatic automatically mounted as like our current partitions to complete this scenario we will be needing some of the things just like disks volume groups and some of the commands and files so what kind of a commands will be needed for the implementing this scenario or for completing this scenario the commands just like I need to write down these commands here. So the command that will be utilized the first is to see how much free disk space is there into our system. So we use parted command for this. Okay. After this we need to create PVs as it is saying that create a new logical new volume group. The volume groups can be created by the PVs only. So to get a volume group or to create a volume group we must have a physical volume. So for creating a physical volume we should we should know the command pv create and after that we need to create a logical volume. But before creating a pv we must have a partition which will be act or which will be converted into the pv and the partitions can be created by fdisk fdisk command. Then we will create a pv then we need to create a VG also. So we will use a VG create command. We'll use LV create command for creating LV as well as we use the MKFS command for creating file system onto that LV as the scenario mentioned that there is a need to keep a large data files onto the server. So you need to create a separate mount point named slash sales slash data. So where the mount point comes there the file system also comes so making the file system out of the creating created LV we need an MKFS command after this we also need a mount command to mount the logical volumes onto the slash sales underscore data mount point with that 
we will be needing another for another commands okay that we will see into the actual implementation for so these are the some of the major command that will be utilized into the creating the or implementing this scenario now what are the related file related r e l a t e d files the related files are slash etc slash fs tab as we have seen in previous video also and as I have, we have discussed in previous videos that wherever you are going to deal with the partitions you must be needing this file if you want to make them partitions automatically mount at the boot time now with the with this summary we will go towards actual implementation for that I need to change my ter terminal here so this is my terminal I have fire a clear command here okay the clearing the command sorry the clearing the screen now to create the LV first of all we need a VG for creating a VG we need for creating LV we need a VG for creating a VG we need PV and for creating a PV we need free disk space so how to find out this first of all do part aid and enter so it will enter into the tool and then fire the tool command print free after firing this it is showing me that is from 7567 MB to 10.7 GB 3161 MB, e free, MB space is free means nearby 3 GB space is free so I can create a PV here okay now quit from the tool and now we are going to create the PVs for creating a PV first of all we need to create a partition here so for creating partition as we all know the FDS command is used FDS which hard disk partition we have to create DEV STA there is a one hard disk called DEV STA on which we have to create a partition so we are telling to the FDS command utilize the part utilize the hard disk slash DEV slash STA to create the partitions enter so I entered into the FDS command say so press P for printing the existing layout of the partitions to create a new partition say n for new partition enter it is asking me whether you want to create an extended partition or you want to create a primary partition so as we have seen by p comma by p option there are only already two primary partitions are there so i can create another primary partitions because i have total four primary partitions that can be created into the operating system and from that i have created only two so I can create a third primary partition also otherwise if you need you can create extended and in that you can create logical partitions but I will prefer primary partitions so P for the primary enter once you press enter it will ask you the partition number that you want to give to the partitions so the partition number SDA1 is reserved SDA2 is utilized free is 3 give a 3 number enter now here we need to enter the size of our partition okay the first cylinder size cylinders which are starting from 992 and ending on 1305 and default size it has already taken 922 so I just I don't need to give any size here I need to just press enter in order to indication that accepting the default value 922 so the tool has taken the file the system has taken the default value as 922 and it is it is asking me for the last cylinder means last limit so I want to create a partition of 1 GB so here I will give plus 1 capital G so it will create 1 GB of partition and now again press P to see whether the partition is get created or not so that DBSDA3 is created by the size 1 GB now if I want to make it PV I need to assign him ID as 8E so I need to assign it for the assigning we need to toggle it toggling we use T T enter give the partition number 3 enter now I don't know what is the code for Linux LVM even though it is displaying here okay but still suppose I don't know the code of what what code to be assigned or what ID to be assigned to the partition in order to make him PV 
so if you don't know press l it will list you the codes it will list you the code of uh, it will list you list you the hexadecimal code of the files uh, sorry file systems uh, here I need to find out for the LVM yeah this one this one is there so what is the code for the LVM that is 8e is the code for the LVM so specify the code here 8e enter it is saying changed system type of partition 3 to 8e now C again P it is changed yeah definitely it has been changed now do the W for write and exiting from the tool I did it but the kernel is still using the old table he is not able to reread the new partition table so it is asking me to reboot the system but this is as this is my server I cannot reboot my server so I will use an partex command hyphen a slash dvsta enter first time it is not reading second time it read it now my kernel is reading new partition table now it ha in his new partition table there is an entry of partition number 3 which is of my Linux LVM partition here now the task of creating a partition is completed now I need to create a uh, now I need to create the PV for creating the PV first of all I let me clear up the screen creating a PV you we use PV create command PV create like DV STA 3 so create the PV of slash DV STA 3 we are specifying by this command enter physical volume what is it saying physical volume slash DEV slash STA 3 successfully created after this this is the task of this is a task that is complete that complete the PV creation now create a new volume group and the P size of that should be 8 MB so name we can give any so I will give a name as wall GRP so VG create is the command which is used for creating the VG wall GRP the VG name and on which partition I need to create it or I am going to create it or in the other way I can say slash dvsta3 is getting utilized for creating a logical volume wall grp and now how much is the p size p size is defined that is physical extent is defined by the hyphen yes schema hyphen yes option that is 8m it has defined into the scenario that the size of the physical extent of the volume group should be 8mb sorry the 8mb next so this is wh what this command states this command says create a volume group with this physical extent 8 MB <coughs> sorry <coughs> the name will be wall GRP and the partition that we are utilizing for this is slash DV slash STA 3 press enter volume group wall GRP successfully created now we are going to see physical volume and volume groups information PV display so DV SDA 3 see this is the 1.1 GB hard disk DV SDA 3 comes under the VG wall GRP and VG display wall GRP enter so the wall GRP is the VG which is having VG size as 1.1 GB and the P size of 8 MB now our this task has been completed to creating a volume group with the size 8 MB now our final task is creating a logical volume and the logical volume should be have should have 50 extents so it is of 50, 50 extents logical volume now to create a logical volume LV create hyphen small l to specifying the extent 50 extent and hyphen n what is the volume group name sorry uh, what is the logical volume name you can give any so I will give data data 1 and on which under which volume group it is it is getting create so that is wall grp okay so what this command states 
this command says l create an lv which is having the extent size as 50 extent the name of the lv is data1 and the volume group is wall grp so once i fire this command a one lv will be created which is having 50 extent size name as data1 under wall grp volume group logical volume data1 created now i need to see that to watching that lv display so come above yeah yeah this is lv display lv name slash dev slash wall grp data1 vg name is wall grp and its size is 400 mb so 8 mb into 50 extent is equal to 400 mb so 400 mb is size or 400 mb's logical volume is get created here after this i need to mount this onto the slash sales underscore data as for specified into the scenario that i need to mount this lvm on slash sales underscore data for mounting first of all we need to create a file system on it so format it by standard ext4 slash dev wall grp data1 enter so it is formatted now i can mount it so i will utilize the command mount slash dv wall grp data1 on sales underscore data but before firing the command i have forget one point that is i didn't create i didn't create the mount point so first of all i need to create the mount point mkdir slash sales underscore data now i can fire the command of mount slash dv wall grp data1 on sales data df hyphen h will show you is the directory mounted or not sorry is the logical volume mounted or not yeah it is mounted dv wall grp data1 on to the sales underscore data but this is a temporary mounting i want my this uh, i want this logical volume should be mounted at each put up so which is the file which makes a constant or permanent entry that is etc fs tab so open the file vi etc fs tab and give one entry there which will allow or which will make the logical volume uh, which is mounted on slash sales underscore data to be mounted at every reboot so that db wall grp okay data one will be mounted onto the slash sales underscore data having file system as ext4 options are defaults checking for dump frequency zero checking priority zero now we need to just save and exit the file so what this line is saying this is saying that mount the dev wall grp data one onto the sales underscore data directory having file system as ext4 default with the default options and dump, dump frequency in checking priority are zero save and exit the file okay uh, i need to recheck the file yeah i done a mistake here spell mistake is it is how yes like this and save and exit the file once I save and exit, if I reboot the system again, it will again remount onto the same directory. So this is what the creation of our logical volume. To prove it, I will remount, I will reboot the system. So you will be able to see that the directory will be, sorry, the partitions will be mounted onto the onto the specified directory. let me check it out this yes a l a e s uh, am i given the same entry here yeah right so i will reboot my system reboot it is getting reboot till now we will again see what we have done here we have we had a scenario that is creating a logical volume and mounting it onto the slash cells underscore data directory we have created one pv of 1 GB from that we have created a volume group which is having physical extent as 8 MB and the name of that volume group is wall GRP 
in that volume group we have created one more lv one, sorry one logical volume that is uh, that is having name as data1 and in that logical uh, that logical volume is get formatted by the ext4 file system and mounted on slash data sorry sorry mounted on slash cells underscore data directory we made it permanent mounting into the etcfs tab and we rebooted the system now i'm logging my system by using root account now once it is loaded let me open up my terminal so that i can show you whether the directory is mounted or not whether the logical volume is mounted or not uh, dismiss this i don't want to check that genome terminal ah it is p terminal terminal enter i'll maximize the size and now file df-h command c the data one is mounted on sales underscore data so our goals are complete here so this is what the creation of logical volume okay thank you so much for this video and rest of the concept we will see into the next videos thank you